Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about factorial notation. So our objectives, first define factorial notation and evaluate factorial notations. So n factorial is deno denoted by n, tapos itong symbol na like exclamation mark. It is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So, let's say uh, meron tayong 5 factorial. It can be read as 5 factorial. So, it means that 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, imumultiply natin sa lahat ng uh, positive integers less than kay 5. Okay? Which is equal to 120. So again, pag sinabi nating 5 factorial, ang ibig sabihin niyan, i-multiply natin, na kunin na i-multiply natin lahat sa positive integers less than sa kanya. Okay? So which is equal to 120 kasi 5 times 4 that is 20 times 360 times to 120 times 1 120. Si 5 factorial, pwede natin isulat as ganito. 5 times 4 factorial 5 times 4 times 3 factorial or 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial or 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 So, pwede natin i-sulat si 5 factorial in sa mga ganito Okay? So, meron tayo dito yung uh, from 0 to 10 factorial, saka yung expanded formula, and then yung value. Okay, for 0 factorial, that is 1, still 1, no? So, 1 factorial, 1 pa din. Yung 2 factorial natin, we have 2 times 1, so therefore, that is 2. Yung 3 factorial natin, that is 3 times 2 times 1, so the answer is 6. So, 4 factorial, so 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that is 24. 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that is 120. Then, 6 factorial, so that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that is 720. 7 factorial, that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 5,040. Okay, sa 8 factorial natin, so the answer is 40,320. So 9 factorial, so ito yung expanded form natin. So pag minultiply natin yan, that is 362,880. And then yung 10 factorial natin, so this is the expanded form ng 10 factorial. So multiply and the answer is 3,628,800. Okay, so evaluate the following expressions. Number 1, 5 factorial plus 2 factorial. So ang una natin gagawin class ay expand natin. Okay, kunin natin expanded form ni 5 factorial and 2 factorial. Saka natin i-simplify. Okay, so ito yung expanded form ni 5 factorial. At ito naman sa yung expanded form ng 2 factorial. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 120 plus 2 times 1 that is 2. So, therefore, 5 factorial plus 2 factorial is equal to 122. Next, 8 factorial minus 5 factorial. So, ganun din ang gagawin. Expand natin muna yung 8 factorial. Kunin natin yung expanded form bago i-minus sa subtract natin sa so value ng 5 factorial. Okay? So, that is, ito yung expanded form ng 8 factorial natin minus uh, expand, sa expanded form ng 5 factorial natin. Multiply, that is, 40,320 minus 120. So, ibig sabihin, 8 factorial minus 5 factorial is equal to 40,200. Next, 
4 factorial times 2 factorial. So, ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin kapag ganito. Okay? Is equal to, okay, uh, the value of 4 factorial times the value of 2 factorial. So, that is 24 times 2. And 24 times 2, the answer is 48. Next. 6 factorial over 3 factorial. So, we have 6 times 5. So, ang gagawin nyo class, hindi nyo pwede gawin na i-divide to ha. Hindi pwedeng i-divide si 6 factorial kay 3 factorial. Magkaiba kasi yung value na lalabas doon. So, ang gawin nyo, expand nyo muna si 6 factorial at ganun din si 3 factorial. So, expand nyo muna. Hindi pwedeng i-divide. So, mali yun. So, expand. So, ito yung expanded form ng 6 factorial at ng 3 factorial. So, pak Kapag na-expand na, doon lang tayo magka-cancel. So, mga cancel natin yung 3, yung 2, yung 1. So, anong maiwan na lang? 6 times 5 times 4. And that is 120. Or, pwede na ganito nyo isulat class. Okay? Si 6 factorial, pwede nyo isulat ito. 6 sa ganitong paraan. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Kasi yung denominator natin is 3 factorial para hindi ganun kahaba yung solution natin. Para hanggang nun dyan lang siya, kasi makakancel naman. So, makakancel nyo, ganun din, 120. Kung baga class, uh, mas maikse yung solution natin. Okay? Another is, 7 factorial over 7, uh, the quantity of 7 minus 2 factorial. So, what will be the answer? That is 7 factorial over 5 factorial. So, ang gawin natin, expand natin itong dalawa, both numerator and denominator. Okay, saka tayo mag-cancel. Okay? So, ano na lang naiwan? 7 times 6. So, 7 times 6, that is 42. Or, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, we can write uh, 7 factorial sa ganitong paraan. 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Para dyan pa lang makancel nyo na ito. Okay? So, makancel nyo na. Oh, and makikita nyo na agad yung sagot. So, 7 times 6 is 42. So, kumpara dito class, masyadong mahaba no, yung solution natin. Kung pwede naman sa ganito. Okay? Number 6. 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, uh, ang gawin nyo class yung ito no? para shorten na yung solution natin so since may 3 factorial tayo sa baba so hanggang 3 factorial para makancel natin so ang maiwan natin is 5 times 4 sa taas over 2 factorial and 2 factorial is 2 times 1 and that is 5 times 4 equals 20 2 times 1 that is 2 20 divide 2 the answer is 10 Determine whether each of the following equation is true or false. Okay. So, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Yes. So, dito pala makikita na natin na true na agad ito. No? Pero para mas uh, ma-check natin na tama, kunin natin yung expanded value. No? Uh, yung expand natin yung 5 factorial tapos kunin natin yung sagot. Ganyan din dito. Kasi class 5 factorial, we can write uh, like this now. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So, we can write 5 factorial in this way. So, kaya sila equal. Okay, 120 is equal to 120. Therefore, that is true. Number 2. 3 factorial plus 3 factorial is equal to 6 factorial. Okay. So, kapag in down natin ba to ay equal din kay 6 factorial. So, again, kunin natin yung expanded form tapos evaluate natin. So, 3 times 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is 6 plus 6 is equal to 720. And 12 is not equal to 720. So, therefore, false yan. Ibig sabihin, 3 factorial plus 3 factorial is not equal to 6 factorial. Okay? Next. 4 factorial times 5 factorial is equal to 9 factorial. Again, 4 factorial times 5 factorial is equal to 9 factorial. 
So, agang ganun din ang gawin. Expand lang natin. So, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to the expanded form ng 9 factorial. Saka, evaluate natin. 4 factorial is 24. 5 factorial is 120. And then, the 9 factorial is 362,880. And then, multiply 24 times 120. So, that is 2,880. And then, 2,880 is not equal to 362,880. Therefore, that is false. So, ibig sabihin, 4 factorial times 5 factorial is not equal to 9 factorial. Next is, 10 factorial over 7 factorial. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, oh, mm -hmm, so, hindi natin na-cancel dito. Alright, so, 10 factorial over 7 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. So, iti-check natin kung ito ay equal dito. Okay? So, ito class, pwede natin ito Pwede nating ma-cancel, no? Pwede na natin ma-cancel ito. So, pwede natin isulat yung 10 factorial sa ganito para ma-cancel natin. And that is 10 times 9 times 8. Okay, wait lang class. Ha? Okay, again. So, uh, yung 10 factorial natin ay pwede natin isulat as ganito, no? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial so, para makancel na agad natin yung 7 factorial. So, yung nasa left side na lang natin, that is 10 times 9 times 8. So, yan na lang na iwan. Is equal to 10 times 9 times 8. So, 720 is equal to 720. So, therefore, that is true na 10 factorial over 7 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.